Thanks for coming. so much for your help and I'll give a call back on Friday. Basically what happened there is I sold a Hirschman power an antenna last week and the uh, the buyer got it you know sometime recently and it's not working for them. I was hoping this you know it always sucks when this happens but I had no way of testing this so on the listing and like five different places I wrote untested I'm not sure if it works being sold as is for parts of repair no returns it's just you know hoping that the right person buys it that you know if it's not working correctly they know how to fix it you know I sell you know a good handful of stuff that is in similar conditions and rarely have issues well this well this person is trying to return it and although I feel bad you know, I set myself up to to handle a situation like this, and I don't want to accept a return, especially when they're trying to get me to pay the the, the shipping to get it back to me. I, just, I don't want it back, so I just got the phone with eBay, and uh, I think you heard it, but I need to wait three more days and then call back. <laughs> This weekend was going to be a little bit slower. Want to come up here? There we go. I thought this weekend was going to be a little bit slower because I have not listed in over a week. Uh, I've been to the outlet three times this week, but just have, it, it's been dry. I've been having a real hard time finding anything. So because of that, I have not listed in a week, and I I wasn't expecting this many sales. Uh, I sold 15 items at an average price of $29.33333333. Um, here's what sold. So first things first, this is a Vodavi Star Plus phone. Um, a lot of phones like this, you, if you find the right model, they go for a decent amount of money. This one I listed a little bit high because of what color it is. That that uh, like 70s, you know, avocado green. I don't know, maybe you can call it that. Uh, this sold for sixty dollars. This is an old wired Apple mouse, you know, clear and white. Um, this just sold for ten dollars. A Cobra walkie-talkie. Usually I like to sell these in, you know, in a pair, um, but I just found one and it sold for sixteen dollars. This is a uh, Breville filter basket for a juicer. I sold for uh, eighteen dollars. I think so. This is fun with languages with little pim. Discs one through six. This sold for sixty dollars. I used to sell these repair manuals a lot more than I do now. I've had this one for probably oh, at least a year, if not longer. Um, this sold for twenty-two dollars. I'm still selling off everything that I got from that motorcycle lot. This is a Husqvarna duffel bag. It has quite a bit of wear and marks on it, and even has a name. I took a best offer of $100. This is a black Jansport backpack. This is something that I bought a long time ago and then ended up giving to Haley. And uh, now she has changed backpacks again and I resold it. Sold pretty quickly, took about a week and uh, I sold for like $15, maybe 17, have to look. This is a skill battery charger, sold for 17. This is a Sunbeam heating pad controller. I've never sold one of these before. They don't sell for a lot. 
but I wanted to kind of test the market and it sold really quickly so I might pick up these in the future if I come across them. Uh, it sold for $13. An older Honeywell thermostat, just a real low end model but it works, sold for $15. It's a pair of Sony Walkman headphones, AM, FM, uh, maybe TV. Yeah, TV and weather as well. This sold for $38. It's a Yamaha power supply, sold for $20. Ooh, this is an Osser Cold Rush um, shoulder pad, knee pad. It hooks to a machine that pumps super cold water through it to help with an injury, a sore knee or, you know, arthritis, whatever. whatever. Um, I bought the whole machine. Machine ended up not working or it had a, a ripped hose, so I just took this piece off and this piece sold for $22. And I believe this is the last item. It's just a Panasonic battery charger. The person that bought this, Mabel's crying on us right now. The person that bought this asked for um, no, no information in the box. It says how much it costs or where it was sent from. And I think it's being drop shipped on me. Um, so somebody's making a little bit of money on me as well. Uh, I looked at what these are selling for on Amazon and they're selling for about $40. And I sold this to the person for $17 or $18. But that's okay. I don't mind somebody making some extra money. As much as I like getting rid of large items to, to clear space in here, it is nice when you have this many items to ship in just a couple of hours to have just a bunch of smalls. You know, it goes by quickly. And uh, I've been pretty lucky the last couple of months as far as finding inventory. Um, I've been through plenty of dry patches. And until this week, it's it's been pretty easy to find inventory well this week I, I actually like the last week and a half I've been to the outlet four times and the first three times I probably spent like five dollars each just just a few items and none of them you know more than like twenty dollars each so um, you know I like to try to keep to you know I, I, I like each item to at least make like $30. It's kind of, I mean, it's definitely not my cutoff. I sell a large amount of items that are, you know, around 10 to $12, but you know, I, I like to try to go for the 30. <clears throat> but today I went there again. I actually went to the outlet that's closest to my house that I rarely go to and got quite a bit of stuff, which is great. I needed this. Uh, I want to show a few of the things that I got. First things first is this clock. Super interesting. This is a, uh, it definitely has that mid-century look, and on the back it is stamped West Germany. So that means that this was made somewhere in between, what is it, like 1949 and 1990? But the way it looks, you know, I'm, I'm guessing closer to the 1949, probably in the 50s. I put a battery in, but it's not working, so I need to look at it a little bit more. This bag right here I grabbed on the way out. Uh, somebody else grabbed it out of a bin and then like stuck it on a chair. They decided they didn't want it. It's a Duluth trading bag um, made in the USA. I don't know if everything they make is in the USA, but this is definitely a little older. It has some stamps and I don't want to completely open it, but definitely a vintage thing. And even with some some small holes here, I'm thinking I can get about $60 for this. This is a uh, also a vintage John Deere hat made in the USA. Uh, K Products. Uh, it's getting a little bit of the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the hat dust from the foam. But overall, just needs cleaned up. And I think I can get about $25 to $40 for this. This leather journal, this is... Um, I think what brand it says on there somewhere. Oh, this is an Oberon journal. Now I've sold one of these before. Uh, it's something I'm always on the lookout for. But this one right here, I think I need to look it up again. But I think I can get about sixty dollars for it. Okay, what else? I got a few heated blanket controllers. Um, I got this Polaroid Land camera. It's the one with the rainbow that. Uh, Polaroids always sell quick for me, but the rainbow one, you know, I assume this will sell within 12 hours of listing it, as long as it works. Dollar price tag on there from somewhere. This is a, a Streamlight Stinger flashlight. It is pretty beat up. Actually, something rattling in there. 
Um, in good condition, these sell for about 80. I'm thinking I can get maybe 20 out of it. I gotta see if it works first. All right, just a few more things. Let's see. Oh, these older Dell power supplies sell for about 25 each. I have two of those. I mean, it's, it's a Honeywell brand, and I think it has something to do with security. Um, there's like a loose item in here, so I'm not sure. Um, if this works, it sells for about 100, but it is a little beat up, so I don't know. I'll just have to have to see. I just sold one of these last week. They uh, they sell pretty quick as well. It's always nice to have the the Velcro armband here, which you can't say Velcro on eBay because uh, Velcro is a trademark name, and the Velcro company searches them out and they give you a like a copyright infringement strike. So yeah, never say Velcro. Uh, one more thing this Sony battery charger I have one of them right now it hasn't sold but these sell for I think right around a hundred dollars so that's a good find right here uh, that's it got quite a bit of stuff this is the back side of that uh, mid-century big long clock I just have never seen a battery compartment like this. So if it's a, a D battery, 1.5 volts, and you unscrew this, and then you can put the battery, or, you know, take the battery out. Which right now, like I said, it's not working. I don't know if it's just not getting a good connection or what, but yeah, it's just real interesting. Stick it in, line it up, tighten it down. Pretty cool. Magic eraser. First thing I do when I'm getting ready to clean something is grab a magic eraser. Sometimes I have one that's like half used up but right now I need to get a new one and then grab an old rag and get both of them wet. Then out of the out of this bottom drawer here, I grab my bag of bags and my bag of rubber bands. Both are useful for, you know, stuff. Then I bring my, my box of items that I need to clean and then an empty box to, to you know, put those items in after they're ready to go. And from that point, you know, every item is just kind of different. It's, you know, some of them are super quick. You just Plug it in, all right, light turns on, good to go. Other items, you know, you have to be more extensive with the testing or the cleaning, and it's not glamorous, but it's mine. Every day is a treasure hunt. Most days are something new, and I control what happens. If it's not going well, it's my fault. If I'm having a great week, that's because of something that I did. It allows me the freedom to do whatever I want with the day. So to test a power supply when you don't have the item that it belongs to, what you can do is get a multimeter and then you look real closely for this symbol right here, which is a minus sign pointing at the outside of a circle and a plus sign pointing at the inside of a circle. And that lets you know when you're looking at the other end that you know if it's negative or positive on the outside or inside. So this particular one puts off 19.5 volts. So I have the uh, d uh, direct current set at 20. You wanna go, um, you know, just slightly above whatever you're, you're doing. Positive on the inside, negative on the outside. And there we go. It's supposed to be 19.5, but we're actually getting 19.77. Tisk tisk power adapter, but it works, so cool. So I'm taking apart this clock, and I was able to get things moving just a little bit here. There, see it's moving, uh, but slowing down. Yep. Got a little bit of electrical cleaner here I was gonna spray in. It probably needs more like lubrication than electrical cleaner, but this still might help, you know, eat away at some gunk that's been sitting in there for 50 years or something. That's so cool. I don't know if you can hear it. Just in case, I'm going to boost the audio right now. 
Oh, there it stopped. Yeah, I don't know. I just need to kind of mess with it for a little bit. Yeah, I can get this thing moving just a little bit and it will continue for like a few seconds and then stop. It's, uh, it's like 2.40 in the morning. I don't really want to start a project right now, so I'm putting it back together and gonna do some research and come back to it tomorrow or another day soon.